exploring the universe here at the Asian Investment Conference today with Brian Cox, Professor of Particle Physics at Manchester University and a leader in the ATLAS experiment at CERN, Geneva. You started out as a musician. What makes um, science better than rock and roll? Oh, undoubtedly, I think that learning about the universe, about how the universe began and how it evolved, is more interesting than making records. <laughs> but um, the, uh, the, interestingly, I was always, I always felt that actually. From the when I was about four or five years old, I became interested in astronomy, and I always wanted to be a scientist. Always wanted to be an astronomer. Something to do with the exploration of space. And I just got a bit sidetracked when I was about seventeen. Uh, by music and bands and those things. So I had a brief little blip, but it was, it was not that I decided that science was more interested than music. I, I knew that science was more interested than music, but at the age of 17, I thought a brief detour might be appropriate. So science. During your presentation here at the Asian Investment Conference, you spoke about first light 13.8 billion years ago. Tell us more about that. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the first light, so actually at this conference yesterday, I was sat watching a news conference from the European Space Agency where this new result was presented. And I thought it was really interesting to present it today. So it's only about eight hours old, this data. But it's, it's the measurement of the light that was released 380,000 years after the Big Bang when the universe became transparent. So now, 13.8 billion years later, that light has been traveling through the universe, imprinted in the light. Um, there are two things. One is the way the universe had expanded. So that light has been stretched and distorted by the expansion of the universe. So you can read the history of the universe into the light. But also, but, but the differences in that light tell you, we think, about things that happened in scientific language, 10 to the minus 32, or 10 to the minus 33 seconds after the Big Bang. That's, that's point naught, 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 with 30 odd noughts, one of a second after the Big Bang. When the whole observable universe, 350 billion galaxies in the observable universe, was compressed into something about that big. So, so it's, it's really genuinely a window into the, most, the earliest stages of the universe. And it starts to answer questions like how did the galaxies first form and the stars first form? Why is there structure in the universe? Why are we here? You know, the answers to those questions in part are imprinted into this ancient light. So it's a tremendous measurement. And this one that was announced yesterday is the most accurate measurement of that light by a long way that's ever been made. So the universe was the size of a grapefruit? Oh yeah, well yeah, the observable bit. I mean it may be infinite beyond that actually, but the bit we can see with three, think about it, 350 billion galaxies, each with an average between a hundred billion and a trillion stars in them. A massive thing. Um, that bit was undoubtedly, we now know, smaller than a grapefruit at some point in the past. Thanks very much, Professor Cox. For more insights from thought leaders, check out the Asian Investment Conference website.